I'm gonna tell you the best places to get music for your YouTube videos so you don't have to worry about copyright strikes or anything like that, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick from TuberTools.com. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. All right, let's just say what it is. Finding music for YouTube can be difficult because you have to make sure that it's something that is free to use in your videos when you're monetizing your content. So I have five different places where you can get background music or just music in general to use in your videos where you don't have to worry about copyright headaches or somebody else claiming the ad money on the work that you put in. Number one on this list, and in my opinion, the best is Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound has tons of awesome music. And the best part is, you know, when you're looking around for music to use in your videos and you hear that one song and you're like, oh my gosh, this song is it. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And then they ruin it with some instrument that you don't like or some melody you don't like or some drum track that you are just not a fan of. Epidemic Sound has solved this by letting you download each individual part of the song. So you can download the drums, you can download the bass, you can download the melody, you can download the instruments as a whole. You can totally break it down and it's awesome. As a matter of fact, if you've watched a Peter McKinnon video, there's a really good chance that you've heard an Epidemic Sound track because he even uses Epidemic Sound. Number two on this list is Audio Hero. Audio Hero has over 250,000 tracks to choose from. That means you're probably gonna have to do some mouse finger exercises in order to click through all of them to pick out what it is that you wanna use. But seriously, tons of really good tracks over there as well, a lot of really good music to choose from, and like Epidemic Sound, it's extremely reasonable when it comes to price. Now, if you've watched this far and you're a regular viewer of my videos, one thing that I wanna let you know is if you are a TubeBuddy user, a premium TubeBuddy user that is, if you're a TubeBuddy user, you can log into your account at TubeBuddy and you can go to the Members Perks page and you can get a discount to both of those services there. At Epidemic Sound alone, through that discount page, you'll save up to 25%. Oh, Nick's such a nice guy looking out for me again. Number three is the YouTube Audio Library. The YouTube Audio Library is 100% free. They have a lot of really great sounding songs there. It has a bunch of sorting options, so it's really easy to track down what it is that you want. They have some popular songs there that you can use if you wanna give up some AdSense money. And they've just added a whole bunch of new songs to the YouTube Audio Library. Next up is Audio Blocks. Audio Blocks is another awesome audio resource to where you can find tons of really high quality tracks. But one thing that I wanna let you know about is I have had some friends that got copyright notices because they used Audio Blocks tracks. Now, before you write them off of your list, I wanna let you know that they do give you licenses and all of that stuff. And if you do get a copyright notice, all you have to do is submit that license and then you're good to go. The notice gets pulled down and everything is back to normal, not a big deal. But I want you to just know that so that you know that if you use them, that there is a chance that you might get one of those notices. So don't freak out if that's the case. Audio Jungle is another one. Audio Jungle I've been a fan of for a really, really long time. Some very talented artists submit tracks to Audio Jungle, just really high quality stuff that you get over there. I've used Audio Jungle for a long time in tons of videos. Even though most of the music that you hear in my videos is mine with the exception of when I do go to these services when I'm trying to just get a particular mood for a particular clip or something like that. But one thing that I do recommend, of course it's your call, but one thing that I do recommend if you are using tracks from Audio Jungle, make sure that you click on the page of the actual actual song that you wanna use and see if that song is registered with the YouTube content ID system. Personally, I don't use those songs. And the reason for that is I don't wanna put up a video, get a copyright notice, and then have to take the time to fight that notice. I've got other things to do, as I'm sure you do. So what you wanna do if you wanna go along the same rule that I use there is you wanna go to the actual song page itself. You wanna look over on the right-hand side and then look for a section that says YouTube content ID registered and then next to that, you'll see a little yes or no. From there, the choice is yours to make. But look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this down for you mathematically and let you know that doing a subscription service is usually gonna work out a lot better for you than paying for tracks on a one by one basis. The reason for that is if you buy one track on Audio Jungle, even though it's a really high quality track and it might be the exact track that you're looking for, in that case, definitely get it. But even if you buy one track on Audio Jungle, you just get to use it one time in one video and that's it. And the amount of money that you paid for it 
is just for that one use. However, if you use Epidemic Sound, for example, you're paying a monthly fee there to use as many tracks as you want and you always maintain the right to use that track no matter what. They do have some different options over there. So depending on the amount of views that you get every month, your price that you're going to pay is going to be different. However, if you're uploading two or three videos per week, buying tracks one at a time is gonna get expensive really, really fast. So it just makes more sense to use a subscription service. I'm gonna put a link to another video up here that is a list of tools that I recommend for YouTubers. This video covers music, but that's just a list of other tools that you may be interested in. So definitely make sure that you head over and you watch that video. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.